this show may contain opinions that you do not agree with, you can either call in and express your opinions or pull that channel change out of your butt and change your channel. That's about what it's all about. Hi! I need old Billy. <laughs> kind of like your CLI old grandmother, but on acid. Got it? I'm thrilled for you. All right. I have no real topic tonight, like always, because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Oh, by the way, it's uh, Texas weather. Yesterday it was in its 50s. Today it's in its 20s. What the fuck is that noise? Don't understand that shit. Must be Texas. Waited five minutes and the weather changed. What else has been going on lately that's kind of pissing me off besides this wonderful weather? Oh! If y'all missed that Cypress Hill concert last night, Y'all fucking miss some shit. And let me tell you, those guys are cool because we interviewed them on the bus and they're fucking laid back. Me and my homeboy, Dave Pruitt, fucking rip, man. They're fucking cool. And of course, old Biddy gets in all the best concerts. So, <laughs> Hi, caller. Yeah. So uh, what's up with you? Project UFO. Uh, Is that on? Uh, next week, he Ray was feeling under the weather this week. Was I didn't see that your last sh last week's show. That was the Project UFO on. Yeah, it was. Uh, he was showing some of the stuff, some of the footage they had cut out of Nazi Germany, where the Germans were working on UFOs and stuff. And they captured some kind of alien or something. Uh, I don't know if they captured any aliens, but they did uh, start heavily working around um, UFOs. UFOs. All right. What do you think about the cold weather? It's, it's cold outside. Well, I tell you, man, I think now more than ever, that anti-camping law sucks. Yep. And that's just the way it is. All right. How many cars you got on the line, other line? Like, uh, one so far. Hey, I'm going to put you on hold. All right. Hey, caller, what's up? Is it too late to get a pizza? Yep. <laughs> Better luck next week, though. Remember. Extra anchovies and special sauce for our special friends. Just you and me, homie. Yeah, just me and you. Hey, what are you going to do for the show? Are you going to play some kind of game or something? I don't know yet. Um, I figure we kick back. You got anything that's a really good topic right now? Good topic. Let me see. Something that's really off the fucking wall. Nothing to do with UFOs, right? Uh, it don't matter to me. No. I tell you what. How about this topic? What? When you move into a brand new house, would you let your friends come over and spray paint murals on your walls? Uh, I would not. Why not? <laughs> because, you know, I mess up my brand new house. <laughs> yeah, but you can always paint over it, but you might get some really kick-ass murals. I'm uh, too lazy to paint over it. Just, I just have them not do that. Okay, well, that's cool. All right. We're going to put you back on hold, G. Okay. Hi, caller. Oops. <laughs> Damn. All this cold weather must have frozen all them phones because I ain't getting shit for callers. Um, I'll tell you what, though. There was a lot of ganja smoking at that fucking Cypress Hill concert. Yeah, I Fucking mean ass ganja smoking bunch of homies. Hi, caller. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Hey, I just wanted to ask you about your tattoo work you got there. Oh, cool. Um, Atomic City. Eric over at uh, River City. Donnie at Crimson. Dave Lum. You just have that one piece on your sleeves, or what? Uh, no, I've got this one too. What is that? It's 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 a it's a peace sign with Woodstock in the middle of it. <laughs> That's a Hit well, that you shit. don't have any other major work or what? Uh, not at the minute, but I'm working maybe on final piercings, maybe clit hood, maybe. You know? Oh hey, I know a lot of girls with clit piercings. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm an old biddy. You never know. You know. Actually, actually you know, I wanna 
I want to get my tongue pierced. Because that way when I'm digging in their hole, my tongue piercing's bouncing on their clit. <laughs> hey, dude, uh, I have a friend here. He wants to talk to you. So oh, you bring him on. Check it out. Dude, I love your tits, man. Nice and saggy. Aren't they just nice? Aren't they just Ooh. a knee slapper? Uh. <laughs> Hell, my nipples don't point down. They curl under. It's just the way it is, kid. Hi, caller! Hey, I didn't think it could happen, but I guess this cold weather has shriveled up your little bitty dick even more. Talking from self-experience, are we? Mama! It froze and fell off! Hi, caller! Hello? What are those tattoos on your arm? Of different lips. Hey, it looks cool. Thank you. There, there's a nice badass. All right. There. All right. Hey, thanks. You got any? You got any? Nah. Why not? Just never felt inclined, or? Nah. Okay. Good night. Well, thank you. Well, to each their own. Hell, why don't we talk about fucking tattoos tonight? Just put that up. Since everybody seems to be talking about tats tonight. Okay, yeah, man on hope. I was just thinking the same thing, talking about tattoos. Um, have you got any? No, I have. I got like about two of them, but it's like when I was like 16 or I was little, I didn't know what I was doing. And, and it, it ain't a professional tattoo. It's like I got a needle and some ink and I did it, did it myself. Mm, but, any good? They, they still holding up or? Yeah, they're still on. Cool. But, you know, it ain't professional or nothing like that. Hey, you know, you know, if you, if you like what you do it on yourself, that's all that matters. You got it. You going to get any more work? No, no. No mm -hmm. more, you know. Where where do you where do you have them? On my left hand. You know that? Okay, show me your left hand. Right in there? No, not right in there. Yeah, right in there where you're point, pointing. Right, right okay, there in the and thumb right bit. at that little bump on the wrist. Right in here? Okay, that bump right there on your wrist. Okay, I got a dot right there. Okay. That's tight. Okay, we catch you later. Yeah, later. Peace. Tattoos. Oh, Penny loves tattoos. Come on, kids. Why don't we jump on the couch and have fun? Yeah, because Dara's got some work now. i got to check this out. Right, I've seen that one. That one a lot. Oh, wow. Are you going to get it filled in real soon? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go back and get it touched up, and then we have a dog tag around it. Okay, who's doing it for you? A friend of mine down in Houston. His name's Flash. He's got his own shop. Cool. But this one's only twenty bucks, so that's cool. Hi, Carter. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? What up? We talking about that too? You got any? Yeah, I have uh, one of a rosary on my right hand and a dot on my left hand. That's my tight. Right. That's tight. Then on my shoulder, I have a a cross. That's cool. Gonna so get any doing? more? Say so what? Are you gonna get any more? Uh. I want to get a rose on my on my leg now. Cool. Uh, how big? Uh, like mm. like full size leg or kind of? No, just like to cover like on by my ankle, you know. Okay. Uh, remember, uh, the the bigger your tattoo, the better color you're gonna get, and the more things you can get done. <laughs> uh, also, they last longer. They hold up better. The the, well, re the reason I say that is as you grow older, your skin stretches naturally and also your ink moves a little bit uh -huh. so if you get really fine line work it'll start to streak together after a while uh -huh. so so the bigger the better i'd say get it about no no less than that size no well uh, it'll probably be a little bit bigger than that that's cool are you just going to get the butt or the stem and the butt the stem and the butt and then like color it in you know that's tight that'll be cool that's tight got anything else you want to talk about uh, no, we just wanted to call and say that we like your show and keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Cool. Hey, Kim, can I get the other camera so I can see my two partners in crime? Ah! No! Don't make me come over there and give you the gelatin treatment. Now you're getting me dizzy. No matter which one I look into, you're still going to fuck with me until you get <laughs> Kim. Hey, Connor! Hey.
Hey, old buddy, what's up? Hey, not much. We're talking about tattoos tonight. Yeah, I see you got those two band members back again. Yeah, I do. Hey, I was going to tell you that guy that called up said you had a little bitty dick. He's a big faggot. I know him. <laughs> he shouldn't. He shouldn't be saying that to you. I think you got you got something there, but I think you got little bitty titties, man. I can handle that. I <laughs> wrote him real tight because it's so cold here. Makes him shrivel up real small. So no know. matter how tight I roll them, I can't get a B cup. <laughs> I tried. You shave. Cool. I got to get my son to do that. He's been getting real long on the side. And I got to, I love, I love the feel of that nice clean cut. Grown out. And you know, when Bill's out there in the other room saying, God damn, he doesn't have my fucking <laughs> tape. I wish to God he'd fucking leave right fucking now. Oh, you know, he's saying that. <laughs> He'll be in here in a minute. No, I wouldn't say anything like that. No. <laughs> yeah, right, Bill. Fuck in it. Hi, Connor. <laughs> okay, I've noticed that we've been talking about uh, tattoos, and then some guy called and said he wanted to see your tits. <laughs> the real thing is, though, I want to see that guy on the side. Okay, and on your immediate left, I guess. Yeah, flip over your hair. What's on the other side of that? Is that like some type? No, not the other side. The same? Oh, uh, I just thought maybe there's like some kind of magic fucking map under there or something. <laughs> hey, you never oh, know, man. shit. You never know. It's kind of like the hair look. Well, I can either have hair or just a little bit or not. Right. It's kind of like that Mo haircut. <laughs> you know? I'm it's like Mo here. had a regular haircut, right? But like when he flipped it up, <laughs> it's that like fucking bowl cut. Boom. It's like fucking weird. He had the same barber. Mm. I'm going to come in here with Liberty uh, Spikes. Uh, Gimp, you know you spell that wrong, I think. That's a T A T T O S. Isn't it? Isn't there... <laughs> you know, right. Gimp? There right you here, go. baby. You can't even get it up. Just right there. You know? <laughs> Just because I fucking love you. I'll bet you didn't even start that fucking tape, did you? <laughs> and they're silent. Well, you know. <laughs> Hey, okay, here we are. It's the Queen of England. Oh, I went. Were you supposed to press play and record at the same time? I'm blessed. Do we need to press play and record at the same time? Why, loyal subjects? Oh, she does that. I, it's like the fucking weirdest. I don't know. Like, she thinks her gloves are going to fall off. She puts her arm to her, you know? She's like mm -hmm. making a speech in arthritis. Yeah, well, no, it's like to keep the skin from sliding down her arm. Just having these bones sticking out. Hey, what's up? Not much. We're talking about tattoos. And you're a trippy old lady, but listen, um, I just want to tell everybody out there, if you're doing your own tattoos, you know, you can get your own ink through magazines, like Spalding magazines. Are the best yeah. thing I've found to use is like, a, it's called rubber stamp ink. It's like a couple of dollars. It stays pretty good. It doesn't, uh, you know, fade out. And what you can do is uh, whenever you do your tattoos afterwards, you can put a little alcohol on them. And go back over them, and that'll produce like a. It'll take some of the color out, and it'll make it more of a grayish, smoky color too. And that's pretty cool to use. But so um, you you recommend home use? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. If you want to go into that, that's cool. Don't share needles though. Don't care who the fuck you think you're with. Don't share no goddamn needles when you're tattooing. Because, brother, it's like shooting a heroin and sharing a needle. You don't know who the other guy's been sleeping with. And probably, they probably don't either. So, fine, if you're into that, more probably, <coughs> I personally would not recommend that shit. That's just my own personal choice. But don't share them needles, damn it. I want everybody here and intact. And Bill's still standing out there. Tell her to get the fuck go. <laughs> Hi, Connor. Spell tattoos right. Spell wrong. Yeah, I know. Talk to my co-host about that. What the hell's wrong with you? Come on, old bitty. I'm senile. <laughs> I got an excuse. What's your problem? All right. Hey, okay. Look, it's not my fault you're literate. That's right. <laughs> right on, Granny. There you go. Okay, that's, that's a really cool. good way to look at it. Yeah, hey, you know, <laughs> you got your education, do it what you will. <laughs> Even though my co-host can't spell for shit. <laughs> <laughs> See the word of God giving me the holy word. You know, crap on you, fucker. 
Hi, caller! It's not like the cast of Mechanical Bull hooked up tonight! <laughs> ride that horn, boy! Ride that horn! Hey, caller! Hey, guys. This is Faith. Hey, hey. Shane! What's going on? Oh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. What How you, you been? Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah! Oh, how was your skiing trip to Colorado? Huh? Did you go skiing in Colorado? Uh-uh. This is not Shay. Oh, the other Shay then. No, this is Faith. Faith. Yeah, Faith. I ain't got no brain. <laughs> Slap me around and call me Lucy right. about. Okay, do you have any... Oh, how did your brain scans turn out then? Cool. Hey, I'm waiting for my 8x10s, goddammit. I got all my brain cells. You're not smoking enough then. I know. <laughs> Light up! I wish. So, uh, you still having them seizures, or? Nuh-uh. Good for you. I haven't had one in a long time. Good. Got any more, got any more work? Do work? Yeah, yeah, I work at Pizza Hut. No, no, no. That. That oh, one. Nuh-uh. Just that one on my ankle. That's the new one. Okay. Shut up. Sorry, my roommate just walked in the room. <laughs> Turn that shit up! Oh, fuck you, bitch! Huh? Which one? <laughs> she wants to know. She wants to know which which one looks familiar, Lisa. The one that's uh, that's what's your name, Richard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that was Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Jeremiah, hey, Lisa. Jeremiah and Lisa, Lisa. Yeah. Right yeah. Jeremiah was. A <laughs> <laughs> you guys need Rob. to stop by the store, okay? Huh? Stop by the store. I have to. I have to return those movies I rented. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great when you have friends working at the video store so they can take care of those late charges for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, are you going to get any more tattoos or not? Yeah, I still have a couple I want to get. <laughs> yes, that's the chick from the video store, Lisa. Hey, <laughs> the lights on! I can see where I'm going! <laughs> <laughs> And your friend's sitting there, God damn, ain't that the fucking bitch in the middle? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So, are y'all still doing the weekend thing, or? Yep, every Friday and Saturday night. Cool. Where else would we go? <laughs> <laughs> we have no fucking lives. <laughs> uh, neither do we, but, <laughs> of course, we don't do that. <laughs> you got we to. work. <laughs> we don't yeah. have orgies. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Bazola had a twister board? No, that's our house. <laughs> you have that. You want to come down and do that on TV for me? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Fucking tease? Huh? <laughs> tease? Yeah. Yeah, you. Hey, we're throwing a gimp. Hey, we're throwing a gimp. <laughs> you can Ooh. use him as a spinner. Hi, gimp. He's over in the office. You uh, can't see him. I got him hanging on a chain hey, in the wall. He knows. <laughs> She's having revelations over here. <laughs> what? <Fox? laughs> but hey, what? Huh? I tell you what, we're gonna put you guys on hold. We'll come back to you. Okay. <laughs> cool. Let's maybe we can get that Mazola down here. <laughs> that one a twister boy. Just give it a fucking Mazola. Hi, caller. Yeah. Um. I've been, I've been trying to. I figured out how to tell you this, but uh, my roommate's sleeping with your wife. Your roommate's a lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> that makes him look one be one hell of it. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even want to think about that. Hi, car! Hey, how much does that shit cost? Which shit? All oh, the shit on your arm. Mm, average is about a Franklin a piece. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I got one on my my left arm. It costs about ninety. It's about I say shit uh, about eight inches tall. Cool. Inches oh, wide. what is it up? It's a buffalo skull with feathers around it. Cool. Who, cool. Who, who did it for you? Uh, got it down in San Marcos, now Texas tattoo. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Gonna get any more? Yeah, I want to get a. Well, my name is Jason. I want to get a, a hockey mask with Jason written over it. Good stuff. Where, where are you going to uh, get it? I don't know. Um, probably back down to St. Marcus again. It's no, I mean, I mean, we're in the body. Any particular place? What was that? 
Oh, where on your body? Where on your body? Oh, I don't, probably uh, either on, on my my chest or on my other arm, one of the two. I said do the other arm. Yeah. It offsets. So. Yeah. That's cool. Well, you all be right. cool. Peace. Thanks a lot. That's cool. Buffalo's go. Cool. Excellent. I like that. It sounds cool. cool. Hi, caller. Oh, shut up, nigga. But I want to ask you one question. <laughs> <laughs> that was tight. He's nuts. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> hey, y'all handle it all on one side. Don't even got to say shit. <laughs> Hi, caller. It's me again. Yeah, I know it's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about the cool lip? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> They did I'm something not cool with a whole lot of laughing. They did that at home. Okay. So, the whole thing with the whole lip. Put the whole new meaning to the word cool whip. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sounds like, uh, like blood fest. Hey, who else is up there? Uh, just us at the minute. My usual crew being a pussies that they are didn't show up. I tried to call in last week, and, and I called and called and called. Because I wanted to say hi to Eric and all them, and... Of course, say, say hi to Eric. <laughs> say I hi to Eric. Say Forget hi to you Rich. Too. No, that's okay. Well, you're here this you week. They're not. Shut up. <laughs> As you can see, I have deep concern for my guests. <laughs> <laughs> medium, medium. So, so what did you think of my terrorist last week, man? Huh? Was that a freaky show last week or what? Yeah, it was pretty weird. Rip my head right off. I watched some of it. <laughs> Did you see me lose my wig? <coughs> nuh uh. Oh, you weren't watching it then. We had the weirdo terrorists from next crazy. door. That cool. Was crazy. They wrestled their way over the couch and took my head with them. It was wild. Yeah, right. Yeah, we have a whole house of weirdo terrorists. Hey, God! <laughs> We're going to get back to you. We'll put you on hold. We haven't hung up on you guys yet. I bet our house has more weirdos than her house. Right. But you guys are having the competition, right? The house of. Weird, I guess. Hi, caller! Hey, yeah, that guy on the right there. Didn't I see you begging for money on the drag? You yeah, yeah, and you know what? At least he's got a steady job. What about you, <laughs> dickless? <laughs> no, that's right. He's got to have a dick. So that way, when the guy behind him wants to reach around, he can still get one. Okay. I got it. Hi, caller! Oh, Betty. Yes! Ah, shit. Cut off the wrong one. Hi, caller! Hello. Hi, good evening. Uh, I was wondering, um, the the lady to your right, what exactly, uh, I mean, exactly what's the show supposed to exactly cover? I haven't heard her talk yet. Uh, we were discussing tattoos. It's just, it's just tattoos, relevant to tattoos. Okay, well, let me put it this way. We'll discuss tattoos real quick, and then you can bitch about whatever you feel like bitching about. I mean, I don't want to bitch. That's the reason I'm wondering why everyone's calling and bitching. Because uh, basically that's the premise of the show, is to call up and bitch about whatever you feel like bitching about. So it's not tattoos? Uh, that <laughs> happens to be one of the many topics. Okay, so why would you want to bitch about a tattoo when it's on your arm? Uh, I think tattoos are bitching. So you there like... You yeah. I enjoy them. I think they're great. Um, I so say why do you to people... Wanna, if, huh? you, if you enjoy them and you think they're great, why do you want to bitch about them? Um, I want to bitch about ones that aren't done right. I want to bitch about when people get infections from tattoos because they're stupid. How about how much does it cost to remove something like that? Yeah, if you're smart enough to not get it in the first place, you don't have to worry about those things. So is it expensive? Yes, it is. There, there, are, there are several ways to get rid of them. Either laser surgery, which basically burns them out of your skin. Then you have uh, skin grafts, which basically covers them up. It still leaves a really bad scar. And now they had stuff with sonar where they're using it to, like, go right underneath the skin and break up the ink. But it's still really expensive. Not, not fatal or anything like that? No. No. So, <coughs> besides her coughing, is she going to say anything? Maybe. I'll pull the string, see what we get. Where's the tattoos on her? I have one of my wrists, the bracelet. And then I have ah one on the arm. This one up here is the flower with the banner and my brother's name. So everyone here has tattoos. He doesn't. 
I'm getting one. I'm getting black flag bars. Cool. Okay. What, well, what about yourself? Oh, uh, I don't have any. That's the reason I was curious about them. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Hey. Thanks. Um, remember, before you go get a tattoo, get to know your artist. Um, if you don't like the guy in the chair, don't get a tattoo from him. The reason being is every time you look at that tattoo, you'll say, damn, nice tat, but the guy was a dick. And then pretty soon you stop liking that tattoo. Me, I can still look at every single piece I've got and say, hey, that's cool. So I've never had one removed. I've never had one. I've never had one covered up. Actually, the worst part about that one was like right in the pit. Yeah. When it started drying real bad, it like deep gouged. She's got some badass bags. Tell you, I'm working on them. Actually, this started to hurt really bad. Are you guys still there? Hello, you clowns. Hello. There you hey. are. <laughs> Who's goosing who back there? Yeah. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not my hand. Oh, Wait a minute. it must be somebody <laughs> else's hand then. <laughs> His what is your foot stuck? His what? His penis has tentacles. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that like a really like atomic French tickler? It's like when your right. dick grows out and it grows these little arms and tickles. No. Something yeah, like that. Return of the Overfiend. I want to know right. about that one. Huh? Jeez. Yeah. Have you seen that? No. Really? Is that anything like Edward Penis Hand? No. <laughs> it's a really cool. It's a really cool anime. You can never tell if he's coming or going. <laughs> never tell if he's coming or going. What? Yeah, but he's really great for fire. All he's gonna do to put it out is go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We'll get back to you guys later. Keep that thought. Oh God. You know, and then they had like the pornographic version of the Penetrator. I am coming back. You know. Actually, like we can. Seen that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Splat man. If it's right. movies. <laughs> Ka- Edward Penis Hands to the college days? No. Oh, no. Midget goes Hawaiian. Midget goes Hawaiian. <laughs> it has a midget in this one. And he uses a step stool for doggy style, I guess. I don't know exactly. Don't no, they're on a know, boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi, caller. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Hi, my roommate likes the girl on the left and he wants to take her out. Well, is it your boyfriend or something? No, it's my roommate. Cool. So you guys like aren't fooling around then? No. Cool. Are no, you available? Dude. I'm dating his best friend. That's all right. I can handle that. He has a tattoo too. What kind of tattoo does he have? It's a little dude with an afro. That's cool. But his name is Jeff. He likes her. Cool. Right. Well, I'll be goddamn. Well, come on in here, stinky boy. Grab a chair. Oh, oh Rick. What? You want to back that camera up just a little bit so we can see everybody? I'm glad to see you made it. How did you finally get down here? Um, I went out with my friend Bill to the electric lounge. Had a really cool oh, Bill! Ah! <laughs> just don't move the camera. Just use the telephoto wide and back it out a little bit. Yeah. Other side. Other side. It's got like a little lever, like goes like this. Right. Other it's side right here. Right other side. side. Yeah. Right. Side. Now look down on the handle. Look down on the handle. Other way. And behind the curtain. Back, back, back. There you go. Woo hoo! Ow! You have a technically ruined homosexual in our midst. All right. And now you yes. change the fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> right here, Jim. I do all my fucking work. <laughs> I make Rick do all hey, that I work. I like the cowboy hat, man. It works. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you thought it was a Ponderosa, girl. Night, you know? Right. Hi, caller. Hey, where'd you find a Creepo and Cousin It? <laughs> Where did I find what? God, Creepo and Cousin It. Those two are the scariest looking cr- <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, he resembles that, Mark. I think so, too. Hey, when are you going to dye that thing purple or red or orange or I'll something? I'll do it tomorrow. Purple I'll do it tomorrow. when I get home tomorrow tonight. Tomorrow, yeah. It's right, cool. Yes. I need to do mine. Purple, like, later on this evening. You see, that's what's so great about having beers like that. Just take the jar and go, <laughs> Yep. And, <you're> gonna, <laughs> you know, and get a streak. It, and get a coin. <laughs> and you're yeah, done. You know? You know, just let it hang you know, there. Dry for a couple shit. of days. You know? Get all crazy. Hi, caller. Hello. Hi. 
Hello? What's up? What up? Sounds like y'all got a party going on behind you, man. Nah, we just wanted to see how long it was going to take us to get through this show. Cool. How long did it take you? Shit. Long time. <laughs> 20 minutes of the phone <laughs> ringing in my ear. See, see y'all go to Cypress Hill last night? Yeah. Oh, we tried to get I some know. scalpers oh, tickets, man. but there wasn't none to scalp. Damn. We would have paid big money, too. Hell Tell yeah. you, man. It was a fucking yeah. rocking concert. I heard it sucked. Ah, you heard wrong. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rock, man. I'm yeah. telling you. Especially when you're on a tour bus. Hey, you they play play on <laughs> <laughs> fucking ain't serious, man. Right. Got on the bus. Yeah, I'm in a car, man. All right. So there you oh, go. I'm, oh, I'm, Biddy, I'm, Biddy. Yeah. Are they playing on th- Thursday somewhere? I uh, I know they're playing tonight in San Antonio. Yeah. They're playing in San Antonio Monday. Is it? They played in San Antonio Monday, man. No yeah, like I swear they said we're, they were playing uh, San Antonio tomorrow, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Shit happens. You got I mean, any that's what they said. Huh? That's what my, my friends over here said. They're in the show here. They're going to get on the mic now. Okay. <laughs> that's tight. Y'all got any tats? Any what? Tattoos. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. What do you got? Hey, Chris Trevino did my tattoos. Cool. Chris is great over at Perfection. Right. Took over where Dave was. Yeah, over there on Guadalupe. Right there, guys. Work, work right there on me. Hey, I got a fist slammed down on top of the world. Okay. Hello? Yeah, you there? Yeah. Yeah, I got a fist slammed down, down on top of the world. <laughs> cool. Right on, man. Hey. Okay, we got to let you go. We got other people to piss off. All right, man. Peace. <laughs> That's cool. Got that world sitting there. Got that fist. Boom. That's right tight. on. Good old FGW, man. Hail Satan. <laughs> yeah, just got that world sitting right there on top of that finger. We you know, are the world. I got that on my dugout. A big anarchy sign. Yeah. And FGW. Where I do start Hi, caller. Revolution. Hello, caller. Hello. Heard the other clip. Yo, caller. Hey. Hey, you're back again. Yeah. yeah. What time y'all off the air? Oh, uh, we go all the way to five. So five? Yeah. It's fake. Cool. Yeah. Fake. Hi, Eric. Hi. How the fuck are you? <laughs> raspberry. I'm okay. Oh. No, no, honey. Yes. Ras- <laughs> Ras- Ras- raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, wait. Raspberry. So we're going to come and visit, okay? What? You going to come down? Yeah, we're going to come right now. Do you have Good, to- please. Yeah. Come on down. Oh. Jump bring, in the car. Bring, bring as many cute available ah! females as possible. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. And I mean cute ones. Yeah. <laughs> we don't care if they're cute or not. We just oh, want yeah, female. Oh, yeah, Why not? Or male. Well, and we want fresh. Speaking of fresh. <coughs> yeah. Do they know how to get down here? Yeah. 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 They've been down here. But actually, what I'd love you? is I'd love to go to Japan's Hall of Skin. Ooh, what? Yeah. yeah. You've never heard of that? No. Um, it, it's a very time honored tradition. Is um, when somebody's pretty well heavily tattooed, somebody will come and buy their skin from them. Yep. No so shit. yeah. So when yep. they when they die, when they pass on, their skin is removed and given to the person the person that purchased it. And they have this place known as the <laughs> Hall of Skin, where they have all these full body works and these works. Off of people that are laid out. This right. are it's called, really cool. you know, it's called the Hall of Skin. It's a very place that's very hard to get into, from what I understand. That's right. But that's it's called the it Hall is. of Skin. And you know, like if you got a full body suit or something, My uncle's been you can. Uncle Ron. Uncle Ron, Uncle Ron that was in Naked Gun. Yeah, Uncle Ron <laughs> that was just shot in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your Uncle Ron got shot in the head. He was down on Crenshaw. Just don't ask. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Ain't even gonna worry about it. Yeah. But uh yeah, the uh, hollow skin you can that's cool. sell your skin and when you die your skin is passed on or so given given to the person who bought it. Drift. <laughs> you know? 
very artistic. It's, it's got to be interesting, uh-huh. though, for the <laughs> embalmer. <laughs> right. All right, yeah, we got much, another one to know. peel. <laughs> <laughs> Get that cheese grater. There you go. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, you know, we got the new Ginsu from America. We'll just flip that body over and peel that mother out. Yeah. The the fillet fillet fry, there you right. go. I call her. Baby. What? Baby. What? Baby's nuts. Are we still cheese. on these nuts? <laughs> this is big on they're not even doing it right, man. It's not uh, these nuts. It's these nuts. <laughs> Get it right, man. If yeah, they're sitting on it, a block of ice, right, man. Right. These nuts. <laughs> are cold. Like, oh, I love oh, that God. flavor popsicle. These nuts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can be fun. <laughs> Yeah, you can always have your cherry when you've got a popsicle. <laughs> have your cherry on the stick. Yep. Hi, Carl. What's up, baby? How you doing? Pretty good, man. It's about time y'all talk about tattoos, man. Thank you. That's shit. You got any? Yeah, I got uh, I got one around my wrist, like a bracelet. It's uh, it's more human than human. It's pretty bad. And uh, I want to get one on my shoulder blade. Um, but I heard that hurts like a bit. Oh, all oh, depends if how yeah, much muscle you got on, back there. It also depends on how much pain you Not can take. Not too much. I'm just like you know, skin and bone. Just gonna down. hurt. Um, it uh, the only place it'll really hurt is when you hit the nerves. Oh, yeah, geez. right, right here. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's kind of like wherever, like down along the bottom of the blade, yeah. and like right on the very top of the blade oh, where okay. there's very little flesh between the bone and the skin. All right, pretty sweet. So uh, what do you what do you got? Or what are you gonna get? Um, I saw this uh, skull with uh, cocaine porn out of its eyes. It's pretty badass. That's a trip. <laughs> Actually, man, the coolest tat I ever saw was a friend of mine. He was this uh, dude whose name was Larry. I worked at Pizza Hut with him. He had like one of those gold teeth with an L in it. Right. Or this big, huge black dude. He had this tattoo on one side. It was a, of a really cool looking bulldog. On the other side, he had a gun with a bunch of bills laying around it, and it said, "Bitch, better have my money." <laughs> <laughs> That's it's gonna be one trip. of the coolest tats I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Actually, one of the best ones I've ever seen is like right around this guy's belly button. He had this picture of Alfred E. Newman, <laughs> and he had his belly button as a bullet hole right in the middle of his head. <laughs> and it said, "What? Me worry? You know? <laughs> hey, fucking, baby. fucking rips." Take it out, dude. There's this uh, there's this fag in the dorm, and he's all like saying that he's gonna get a tattoo on his ass that says "Exit Only," man. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Ooh, hey, it's listen, a trip. Man. Let's go piss off some more people, all right? <laughs> <laughs> a resident homo just came in and said, "Excuse me." So, Ladies, you know, girl. Later, baby. Later. Why <laughs> <laughs> such trip? Isn't it though? Um, tell you what. If you kids want to take a call real quick, yeah. I'll be right back. Uh, Can I get in another cheap plug for the band? Oh, go ahead. Monkey Winch! Okay. Fucking rule. Monkey Winch, playing soon. Hopefully playing here within a few weeks and uh, at the Blue Flamingo and Voodoo Lounge soon. Hey, hey, you got a mic right there. Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on, man. <laughs> Station 12. Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? I don't know. Ah. It's gonna be done in a minute after a fucking show. Get the chair. Right. <laughs> Don't beat me. Don't beat me with the size nine and Please, a half off don't the beat ground. Me. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wrong and, uh, button. Hi, caller. Hey. Hey, old bitty. What up? Hey, are you like Pat? No, I know my sexuality. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, are do you, you have any tat? Yeah, I got a tat. What is it? It's a butterfly. Oh, what color? Purple. <laughs> Even better. Where is it? <laughs> it? You're going to get any more? Uh, probably. Cool. Uh-huh. Any idea what you're going to get? Uh, no, nah, not really. Okay, well, when you figure it out, let us know. <laughs> All right, man. Peace. That's cool. Actually, uh, next time we come down, I'll bring you this piece that I want to get. It's a really cool uh, HR Geiger type. That, uh, the guy oh, that I work with, he did that. <laughs> like right here. Actually, I want to get this, uh, this, uh, since I like collecting camels, I got this actually picture of this camel dragon. Ooh. It's like a dragon that's got like the camel head and neck, but it's like the, the neck's plated. And it's got wings and it's got two lumps on its back. 
And I want to have it here on my leg. And on the other side, I want to have Sir No Chance in Hell with like a, a guy standing there, like one of the old iron pot stoves with a broken lance and um, a mini bike with like a patch on the tire and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to get this chaos symbol that I have in one of my games. See, because that on the back of the legs, I want to see like the dragon all torn up and. Not just in there God. laughing his ass off. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, break dead. Yeah, right here. <laughs> you know, but I couldn't do it, huh? Me and my brief and stretch. Hey, caller. Yeah, I got a crazy tattoo story for you. Okay. Okay. About a year and a half ago, I started dating this uh, this really nice girl. She was like a upper middle class, and she wore polos and shit. And uh, so finally, I got her in bed one night, and I got her clothes off, and then as I was going down on her. I noticed that she had a tattoo. And it was flames coming out of her cut. <laughs> <laughs> it was right crazy. On. The school was like a nice school too. Jamacker? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, hey, you know, you put it right there. The there you go, boy. What's the problem? That's more incentive right there, man. There you go. <laughs> oh, no, I think that might scare me. <laughs> nah, man, you just dig in and just. Go on there home. You go. Flames Hedda. coming out, bothering There you me, go. That, that tells you something. Oh yeah. man, there's this great uh, in this tattoo magazine I got. There's this guy. He's got the skull right above his penis, and he's got flames on his dick. So it's like a <laughs> skull is shooting flames. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, fucking oh, rips, man. It does, man. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dave Lum was working <laughs> when he when he left. Dave Lum was working on this uh, girl, and I finally saw the tattoo. And she's got this like necklace, of necklace of penises, <laughs> right? And cool. the penises all have these different tattoos on them. And shit, <laughs> I got and a it's butt. fucking wild. I got a tattoo on my butt of a butt with a tattoo of a butt on it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's this one picture of this uh, Pepe Le Pew. Coming out of this guy's butt crack, and you see these like tracks he left behind. He's turning around <laughs> looking at it, like, wow, you know? <laughs> like, goddamn. Hi, caller. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Oh, Biddy, it's been a lot, about two years since the last time I talked to you. How have you been? Uh, I've been pretty good. You look completely different from the last time I saw you on the show. Hey, new wardrobe. What can I say? Hey, it's the hairdo, the makeup, it all looks wonderful. You, you've lost some weight. God, I hope not. I want to bump like the rest of them and be <laughs> proud of what I got. You're looking really good. Thank you. So uh, you do you remember Duckman? Yes. Do you ever hear from him anymore? Once in a great while. Every now and then. Yeah, once in a blue moon. Yeah, okay. So how have where have you been? Where have I been? I haven't been paying I haven't been tuning in. Because I never know when you come on anymore. I just happened to be uh, channel surfing here for a second and saw you were there and I was like, hey. The little bitty's on. There she is. Are All you right. still working at Jester Hall? No. Okay, then I'm then I'm thinking it was somebody else then. Yeah, you were thinking it was somebody else. Yeah. That's okay. It's hey. been two years. Damn. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a tattoo. Girl to your right. What's your name? Dar. Darlene. Darlene. The one on your wrist. Uh huh. Was it painful? Uh. uh. It wasn't very painful until we got to right about here, on the sides and then towards the middle. Well, then I started getting near the nerve run. Because it's thin? Yeah, it's uh, like really thin right there. Okay, and where would you say right now is the best place to go and get a tat? Austin. <laughs> That's Except it. Right. Go to San Marcos. I would, I would recommend Chris over at Perfection. And where's that at? Uh, that's over at Dave Lum's shop. It used to be right across from the Austin State Hospital. Right. I know exactly where that's at. Okay. Then there's Eric over at River City. Okay. Uh, at the present time, he's the only one at River City I would recommend. I heard right now they're pretty expensive, too. They are. They are. A lot more than what they used to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. like I said, Eric, Eric is the one to see. But I want it done, and I want it done in color to where it's really done nice. And okay. the color stays. Then also try the guys over at Atomic City. Cool. All right. Yeah. Those those guys do real well. I've got my latest tattoo from them. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. Hey, my my pleasure. And thanks for tuning in. Talk We're here. Um, Wednesday nights. We started two first half hours UFO project. Second uh, hour is me, and then our last hour and a half is Gimp. Cool. So, we're glad to have you back, damn it. Yeah. Because we fucking missed you, Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Talk to you later. Peace.
Cool. So what's your next piece going to be, Biddy? <clears throat> Don't know yet. Don't know? Don't know yet. Hey, color! Hey, I got some pretty cool tattoos. Okay, go ahead, tear it up. You had them down. I uh, got them down in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Okay. Down there in Huntsville. What got you got? Piece on my back. I only had to pay a carton of cigarettes for it. Well, that ain't too bad. That's bad for a white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Real bad action. Busted. Right. Busted. Of course, he's stupid enough to think that's the only place where you can get decent tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> now, mind you, <laughs> I have seen. <laughs> what you put on that? I, I have seen a lot of really good rock house work. Oh, yeah. So have I. Some really excellent stuff. And then I've also seen a whole lot of shit. shit. <laughs> and I'm I've sorry. also seen a whole lot of shit out of some of the shops out of Austin, too. It's all where you feel like going. Like I said, before you do it, get to know your artist. I've mm. got one of my Number one thing, thing, get to know your artist. Mm -hmm. Feel comfortable when you sit in that chair. I mean, if someplace gets pissed off because you hang around, because you watch, before you get your work done, fuck them. They don't want your business. Yep. If they don't like to have you watch them work, don't even worry about it. I mean, you can't trust the work. That's right. Fuck yeah. And <clears throat> look through the stuff, look through the picture books of what they've done. They don't have a picture book. Don't even sit in a chair. Because then you can see what you're getting. Hi, Carter. Hey, what's up? What up? What's up, Biddy? We're talking about tattoos. Some tattoos. I got a tat. What you right, got? Right on my uh, shoulder. It's a Tony Hawk design. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was which, gonna ask you, what do you do design? all day, man? You just sit down on that couch and uh, catch flies with the foreskin of your dick. No. I uh I put a little honey on my crotch and get on my feet as wide. <laughs> <sighs> and that way when you're eating me out, you get raisin snacks, munchy boy. Have you ever make one of those celery like ants on the log? Kinda like kinda like the dancing. Yeah, you take bear. a piece of celery and you take some peanut butter and then you put little raisins on it. Oh never mind, I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like the Bill Banana Split trick. Oh, I'm worried about you. <laughs> yeah. Hi, caller. Hey, I've got an awesome tattoo. It says, huh? I hate faggots named the Gimp. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I think, I think the Gimp would stand up to that, but he just doesn't way. feel like it. <laughs> Isaac. Watching, by the way. Isaac's watching. Uh, hey, your mom was great last night, man. <laughs> you know, when I was shaving her back. <laughs> was that before or after I got there? Oh, no, that was after you got there, man. And and we were, I had to shave her back, you know, and after I blew cum on her back and then stole money out of her purse. I hope you haven't tried to use those credit cards, man. Not yet, I man. still got the but, numbers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't call them She's in, not too man. bad. <laughs> Hi, Connor. <laughs> hey, old buddy, it's me, the king, baby. I'm hanging out in Austin, Texas here, and I, I got, got an idea. Done for me? I got an idea for a tan for you. Okay. Uh -huh. A tattoo on me. Go ahead. I put a tan on them legs, honey. You're killing me. You know why? Because it look too much like them Duncan sticks you keep ODing on. <laughs> Hell, honey, I got nothing in my mouth. Just stick them in my nose for me. <laughs> Just like mine! <laughs> He's never been sitting there by thinking about brushing his teeth with a big old dick. <laughs> hey, I, 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 hey, can I deep throat you? Because I need to get some of your pubic hair so I can floss. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> you just stepped into the Twilight Zone. <laughs> no, you're in the Jericho Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carl. Hey, what's up? What up? I got a cool tattoo. Okay. It's a, it's a tattoo on me, and I'm taking a poopy one that got shaved the guy's head. <laughs> oh, yeah, that reminds me. Is that guy Hi, guy, brother? poop. Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on, guy. Poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> hey, you gotta admit, that is a snappy name for a furniture place. The poop store. Poop. The poop store. 
Come on okay, over and get your poop. Big, huge but I'm looking for poop. <laughs> I want to open a guano store, you know? All right. There you go. Use toilet paper for your favorite shit. stars. Yeah. <laughs> you want to buy some back shit? There you go. We got plenty of it right under the bridge. <laughs> hey, Cutter. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what up? Hey, I just want to say y'all got a good show. I wanted to say something to Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, these people are doing y'all a big service. Why don't y'all get your shit together and not be chicken shit and call these people names? They're doing y'all a big service. They're going to 5 o'clock in the morning. So why don't you get your act together? Thank y'all. Thank you! We appreciate hardcore fans. That That's cool. No, I like that. That guy's cool. Because, hey, you know, he knows that we got it together enough to get on the airways. So anybody who doesn't like it or don't know how to change the channel, all you got to say yeah. is, fuck yeah! <laughs> if that, if you're offended by that, blow me. Just lick my crotch. <laughs> He's not. <All> right. <laughs> oh, I just love those shoes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's right. I wasn't politically incorrect. Excuse <laughs> 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 That's my favorite show on TV. I <laughs> Choke it. Yeah. Hey, Connor, welcome to Chicken Chucking 101. Hello? Stealer. <laughs> I think they're terrified. Oh, so, uh, hello? Yeah, you there? Yeah, hey. Which one of you guys would like to eat the cheese out of my foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> hey! Hell no, yeah, sign me no, up for that. No, please, I, I want to eat no, the cheese out of the skin. I would love nothing better than to eat that cheese. No, no, I'm not, hang on, I want to be serious. Get some crackers. I, I, I would do. I would love nothing better than to eat that cheese, but I don't have my grater with me. Hey, but crackers. Please, no, that's a saltine. I got a can. I got a, I got a can Ain't of parfait. Nothing better than get cheese you know? and saltines. Right. Hey, what's going on? Oh, we're talking about tattoos and whatever else you want to. Some tattoos? Uh, uh, yep. What's that girl's name right next to you? Darlene. Darlene? He came at once 15 minutes ago when somebody else asked. He don't tell me nothing, but... No, but I think I got his mom Darlene. in the back. You know, I'm surprised that Craig and Paul and Wayne haven't called. I know, man. I'm surprised Bill phone. hasn't come in here yet. <laughs> All right. I'm scared. Where are you? I'm <laughs> Bill's all, I know he's gonna. Find I don't work at that convenience store, so I can't steal gas drugs and cigarettes and beer anymore. I gotta go. I gotta go to work in a minute. I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> you know, if you keep slapping your hands out hard, Bill, you're not gonna be able to masturbate. <laughs> Because your hand's going to be too tired in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's out there. Oh, I'm going to kick that fucker's ass. You just fucking I'm going to find him or I'm going to kill him. I'm going to tear him up. I want to stage dive right into his face. God, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that I had good. his number on this refrigerator a long fucking time ago. <laughs> and I thought people leave my shit alone, so I thought I'd stay there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I ran out of papers and I needed something to roll. No. no. Hi, caller. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. It's me again. You made it back. Hey, you guys need to change places so we can see you move around a little bit there, okay? There you go. No, no, no. We, we just change. Darling, you get over there and hey, you with the beard. Yeah, okay. Cool beard. Swap. I don't know your name. Swap. Move over there with Darlene. There you go. Whatever. You guys see that? And, and old video is something I've always wanted to see you do. What? Get up there and do a couch dance for us. All right. A tap dance? Uh, no, a couch dance. A couch dance. Couch oh, wait, dance. A couch dance. A couch dance. Now, don't get yourself in trouble. Just right. do a couch dance for us. No, no wait start. a minute. There's just not enough going on. There you go. Okay. We'll okay. move it when you see Darlene better. There okay, you go. Okay, now Who we got on I, the left here? I, I promise you this. Yeah, you. I'm Eric. Eric, okay. Eric, uh, old bitty, Darlene, and... Uh, Rich. Richard. Richard. Okay. Poo -poo head. Hey, that was much better. I see you guys a lot better there, too. All right, all I'm asking, do a couch dance. Oh, uh, I'll do that next week. Go in there. No, no, you, you, you got to understand. Um, uh, I'll do it for you next week. I promise. Okay, you tune in next week. Oh, Biddy will 
shake this couch like you've never seen it. I'll remember before. that. Cool. Right on. Hopefully next week we'll have a car in here, so that'll be kind of fun. <laughs> what? If I would have had my crew here early enough, we'd be in the car right now. Oh, right on. <laughs> right so on. So upcoming episodes. The Chrysler? The car. <laughs> no, the old bitty weirdo mobile. Oh, okay. Oh, right on. Not the Cadillac and not the Chrysler. <laughs> no, they're too busy. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's probably where them fucking idiots are. They probably took the Cadillac back over to Mexico again. Most likely. Yep. <laughs> Hi, caller. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I eat, can I eat <laughs> Darlene's poo-poo? Can he eat the crackers out of your poo-poo? <laughs> Only if your mom will swallow my load. <laughs> of Rick, oh, Ritz crisps. <laughs> no, wait, we're you back gotta eat ham. <laughs> now, that's gotta be the stupidest commercial okay. I've ever seen. You've gotta eat only one at a time. And everybody's sitting there like, <laughs> and it's almost as annoying as Pringles commercials, but not quite. Okay? Oh, no, nothing. So then you gotta say, well, you gotta inhale them. And the guy's tilting the box back. And it's like, okay, you've gotta like get all the crumbs in the bottom and snort them. You gotta inhale them. Okay. <clears throat> Oh no, it's the rectomizer. Are you gonna squat with us? Thank you very much, Mr. Cunningham. Hi, caller! Yeah, I just want to say I've never been so stoned in my life. Right? Um, I can respect Dude, that. Legalize. Just please. Just to stop the madness. Just legalize. Re legalize. Very re legalize, um, right? Yep. yep. Re legalize. Exactly. Re legalize. Okay. So, what's the longest joint you've ever rolled? Oh, my God. Is that one last time? Don't ask me that right now. <laughs> Don't ask me that right now. No, like a regular rolling paper? No. The one no. Yeah. The, the one you spool off like saran wrap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those long ones, Good exactly. Night. Excellent. All get right. about four of your friends down. What about y'all? We're with you guys, man. We get the uncut rolling paper. Roll it out. Get about four or five of our friends together. Exactly. We're going to have to smoke together sometime. That would be cool. All righty, then. Peace. Get a, get a nice pot leaf tattoo. Those are kind of neat. Really popular in places like Wayansing County. <laughs> you know, <coughs> we pulled that boy over. We had probable cause. He had suspicious looking tattoos. <laughs> Therefore, we knew he was a communist pinko faggot scum. And we searched his car. He had a purple beard. There it is. <laughs> he looked like he was from another planet. And we didn't want him stealing none of our people or nothing. That color. Hey, what's up? He is. Oh, okay. Well, it takes us out like an hour ago. I started the whole genre of conversation of tattoos. And so, like, I wanted to change it all and maybe see if y'all would maybe want to talk about heroin. About <laughs> what? Heroin. Heroin? Mm, heroin. Yeah, I mean, like... The big heard, H? Okay, good. At first, your show was really boring. Mother's milk? I got, like, the tattoo. Everybody was talking about tattoos. I just asked you about your tattoos. So maybe I can make another show about just heroin. Let's talk about it. I mean, okay. so it's a formidable okay. form of have, friendship. Have you ever yeah. shot up? Yeah, all the time. Boy, your voice sure did change you. Yeah. Shot a big oh, one. Oh, yeah, man. all the time. I just ah! see hair shot. <laughs> uh. I actually, you know, comes right down to it. I'd rather people deal with people that are on heroin than people that are on crack. But I'd rather just shoot them both. Well, no, you see, heroin people get their fix, shoot up, throw up, and chill out. True. Okay? People who are on crack, smoke crack, wire up, and freak out. True. So I'd definitely rather... Deal, deal with, with heroin. Someone on heroin yeah. is puking in your bathroom. Then some guy who just smoked crack who's out like eating dogs. Or, you know, grabbing your shit to go sell it for more. Yeah. I mean, heroin users are almost as bad, but I'd rather deal with somebody shooting heroin. 
They aren't you Personally, I'd rather walking. deal with somebody who's smoking pot and eating a Twinkie. That's true. Right. <laughs> of course, if it's your Twinkie, you probably then we've just, got a problem. No, you probably just French kiss real hard and suck that Twinkie right back <laughs> out. Like this. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? You know, just, I wanted my Twinkie back, goddammit. <laughs> Wait a minute. He didn't have your teeth back now. <laughs> mm. I love my double set. Yeah, hey, caller. Say, dude, I got a tattoo. What you got? <laughs> Still right on your chin. You know, you must have this big sign that say, put your nuts here. <laughs> Lay them right here. Please, please put your nuts here. <laughs> no, put your scrotum here. Put your nuts here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's in there sleeping on a couch, isn't he? What? Go roll over. <laughs> I'd love to see that. He's coming! Dun, 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 dun. Hi, caller! Oh, yeah, what do y'all think of a, a tattoo of Darlene poo pooing in my mouth? Right on. Oh, God, <laughs> what would that be called, man? I know there's a term for that. Darlene pooping in your mouth. Maybe that's fudge hunting or something. I don't know. We could arrange Darlene to take a big old poop in there you go. if you want. They'd be defecating in the above, above the jawline, I guess. Right. Let's call you the Hi, princess. From Hello. Princess. Hello. Good evening. Okay. Since we're talking about tattoos, which is your favorite tattoo shop in Austin? Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. I'd, I'd say perfection still. Perfection? Yep. I'd have to agree. Good thing. You ever heard of Little Kitty Scratches? Yes. Well, yeah. Tattoo shop? <laughs> uh, are, are, okay. No, not are, the Little Kitty Scratches. Okay. Are, are, are they brand the, new? Huh? Are they new? Are they relatively new? Yeah, they're relatively new. Okay, uh, are those the guys? Had a shop. Uh, one of the women that worked there had a shop on South First with uh, Steve Borrego, Native Images. I don't know if you ever heard of. Yeah, that. I've heard of Native Images. Okay. Uh, and her and a guy, uh, a, another lady that used to work with Guy Atchison in Chicago. Right. Um, she came down from Chicago and she's opening up with the Karen. Cool. Where at? South Congress. Oh, where about? Um, right diagonally from Expose. Okay. You can't miss the big titty bar on the corner. Yeah, we, we know where Expo is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, then you know. Okay. So and it's just like... right diagonal. It's just right down the street. It's between two little, um, one's a Hispanic Latino music shop. The other one sells uh, like Hispanic an clothing, the place? I guess you would say. Okay. Okay. Cool. And what's the name of the place? Little Kitty Scratches. Cool. Two shops. Thank you. All right. I'll have to check them out. Bye bye. Cool. Hi, good. girl. Come over here. All right. Get your get your nice round squishy butt over here. What about the rest of you people? Get your asses over here too. Sit. Relax. Come on. Be merry. Hello, girl. Ooh. You get your own microphone and everything, Winch. What's the matter? What, your, your rescue to twist her friends won't come over and play with us? <laughs> come on! <coughs> Get, yeah! Sit home. Damn! Man! Hi! Oh! She got the, the whip! whip? Hello? Bring, bring the whip! Hi, caller! Hey! How you doing? Oh, I'm all doing all right. You know how it is. <laughs> But anyway, okay, we were talking about tattoos. Right. But I thought we were going to talk about heroin. Whatever happened to that conversation? You know, I'm sure this is Austin, right? This has got to be some kind of rowdy situation. It's three in the morning and it's Thursday. I mean, come on, there's got to be some fucking addicts out there. I know there is. You know, you know. Come on. Have you ever, you ever tried? Have you ever, you ever tried the whip and then rubbing the heroin into the cuts? <laughs> no, dude, I don't want to waste anything like that, man. You wouldn't be wasting rise. it. Use a twenty-nine fucking inch gauge. What? <laughs> what? No, Bill. Bill. What about Bill? Huh? <laughs> Is he being a big pussy? All right. Well, Biddy, Is he your ride? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, bummer. I can take y'all home. We can shove everybody <coughs> into the car. And what crack have you been smoking? 
Oh. You want to ride from them or are you going to go? I think I'm going to go. All right. Unfortunately. Well, we can get the rest of that crowd over here that, on this fucking yeah, couch. Yeah, yeah, really, guys. Yeah, get your ass Chicken out of here. Chicken shit? Pussy. All right, fine. Vagina. Woo! Vagina to you too, fella. Uh, hey, you. Have fun, guys. Give me a hug, you. Smack him. Uh, <laughs> hey. Ah, thank you. <laughs> oh, he's already gone? Is he being a com Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Is he on the park line or already split? I don't know, but if he's already split with Tiffin on the star. <laughs> That'll be fun. I got hey, you know you put you had a little gas tank, I'm gonna fill it up for you. That ought to be real. Uh. Fun. Come on, Sarah. No, no, it's okay. If she doesn't want to, that's cool. Remember, that's what this show's all about. It's freedom of choice. You can do what you feel. Raw. <laughs> hey, I, I like whistle. I like it with a blender, too. Ew. <laughs> what do you mean, ew? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we tried what, do you think, what do you think you call a French tickler in high speed? We were talking about that earlier on the first. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, the octopus penis. <laughs> That's the one. What's the matter? A little too close to home or something over here? <laughs> Woo! That sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come over here on my other side? We'll have a lot of fun with this. Hi, caller. Take my jacket off. Hello, caller. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I was wondering. I have a girlfriend, and I was thinking about getting a tattoo with her name on it. What? Oh. What, are you, what is your thoughts about no. that? <laughs> Unless you're married, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> and most people would say, we won't do your name, their names on you. It won't bite. It'll only shock you when I press the button. <laughs> For real, maybe I'll it works. <laughs> cool. Oh, we're wired around here, kids. Hi, caller. Chicken. Hi, caller. Hey. Good evening. You know who this is? Come did on. You, did you call? Angie. Angie? Yes. Hi. Hey, sweetie. What's up? Feeling good? <laughs> I've been trying to get on. The phone has been ringing forever. <laughs> I know. It does that. <laughs> hey, it's just the way it is. My arthritis. I got a slow finger. <laughs> <laughs> I was cruising through and I saw through the channels and I saw Eric. So actually, Josh saw Eric. So. Uh, I was trying to call in, and then we saw Faith. <laughs> yeah, now you got Faith, right? Yeah. Gotta have yeah like Bill was being a puss, so he left. Oh. They're probably out in the, park, out in the, out in the oh, parking lot right. pissing on each other. Yeah, sounds entertaining. Hey. Hey, grab your fucking mic. You're going to get a cowboy hat. <laughs> what are you doing oh, dressed so up as a kicker? What? What are you doing dressed up as a kicker? I feel like doing cowboy drag tonight. A cowboy yeah. drag? Yeah! You've been riding the mechanical bull again! <laughs> Get away from me, too, motherfucker. Oh, I told you about that. Every time we do it, you short circuit it, and nobody else can play with it, and... It gets all wet, <laughs> picky. Josh said yeah. because the bull's riding you, <laughs> not you riding the bull. <laughs> You've got it right. That's when he puts on his know. back and lets the machine take a ride. That's because you're male. Or you're female, he's male. Oh. Wow. We're going to put you on hold and talk to some other people, but you're still going to be there, so you're going to be on hold, all right? Okay. I guess I'm familiar. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't it, though? What? Ask her what happened to Chris. Uh -huh. What happened to Chris? What do you mean? Did he ever come back? Did he ever come back? Yeah, he's back. Okay. He's engaged. Again, this he's, week? Who he's is actually it? getting married. Who is it this week? I don't know his name, but we're set, trying to set up a ceremony for him. Cool. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Raw? You're watching. Love you. Hi, caller! Hello? Hi, good evening! Uh, yeah, I was wondering, I was watching your show, was it earlier this week? Maybe, no, I guess last week. And there was, uh, there was full frontal nudity. Uh, of, of male genitalia with a fish. That's right. What what happened there? Oh, uh, the people next door were filming some really interesting stuff, and after the terrorists got tired, 
The naked guy with the fish came over. Cool. <laughs> Where did he go? Or what show. happened? Right, no. He went right back over to the other show. Y'all didn't pummel him or anything like that? Why? Well, <laughs> I mean, he had a fish. So? A wooden fish. I mean, that's, A big wooden fish, yep. That's fundamentally wrong. Why? You were talking about wood fish here. Okay, uh, not that. Do <sighs> fish float? I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't have an aquarium. <laughs> he doesn't know a fish float. Yes, fish float. So do wooden ones. What's the problem? One just eats a lot less. What's the big deal? What about my fake the tropical fish? fish? <laughs> cool. Of course, you can get splinters from one, but not the Did other. You like my plastic up. fish now? <laughs> the plastic? <bowl> plastic fish. <laughs> big bowl of plastic fish. And you feed them the little plastic worms. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> and you add water and they grow. No. Hi, caller. Yes. No. Hello. Hi. Yeah, about that wooden fish. Have you ever had a wooden <laughs> fish inserted in you? Ow. Nope. That would hurt. Have you ever thought about it? No. I am now. <laughs> we have a finger. Well, I was. Is that guy on the right that was on the right in the cowboy hat, is he single? Yep. Woo. Uh, is it, what's his name? Rick. Is he's there any a, way I could talk to him? Hang on a second, girl. I oh, forgot wow. my queen of the week patch. <laughs> yes, sweetie, I am single. I was just—I just want to tell you, you look really cute in that cowboy outfit. Ooh. You come on down here. Uh, where are Put you? Put you in my cowboy outfit. <laughs> How long will y'all be there? We'll be here till five o'clock in the uh, morning. Hi, caller! Hey. What up? What's going on? Oh, same old shit, different day. <laughs> That's a bad helicopter. <laughs> He's got a kind of a screwed phone. <laughs> Hi, caller! Hey, old Betty, uh, yeah, uh, that, that girl in the white, the pile of poo poo. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> now you don't got it all! No <laughs> shit! <laughs> You're a pile of poo poo! <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, I know what it is. You must need a glass of water. You're all that white, dehydrated, dehydrated poop, apparently. That's got to be it. Okay, it's dehydrated Where? white poop. <laughs> you tell us, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't the know. guy's got, I don't know, maybe the guy's got, like, vision blindness or something. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I want y'all to listen really closely to Rick. When he speaks, he sounds like Vera de Milo. <laughs> listen to him. Actually, you know, you know, I think he sounds like one of the hillbilly bears in the Disney app. <laughs> blood on the table, blood on the floor. You know, I was like the big bully bear. <clears throat> um, Josh noticed that you were doing the claw on TV just a minute ago or so. Yeah, did you? You went to the. The concert last night, didn't you? Or oh, Cypress Hill. Yeah, we, we had tickets. Josh won tickets to that, but then he also won tickets to Dread Zeppelin, so we went to Dread Zeppelin instead. Did Man. y'all go? Like, did y'all go sell your tickets? Um, no, we gave them to James Peterson, so he went. That's to how he got in. Yeah, see, that's I, how, he told me he saw you. Yeah, he was he was cool, man. We saw him tight. Yeah, he he is pretty messed up. We. We had to go drop his keys off to him after the uh, concert, and he was... He was probably pretty fucked up from the pit, too. But, it probably. But he was... Yeah, exactly. There, there were no activities <laughs> that we would want to talk about going on in there. They want to show. <laughs> <laughs> they thought that was pretty crazy. <laughs> but we went to the Dred Zeppelin concert, and they rocked. Oh. I was impressed. I, I heard Dred Zeppelin really... They were playing at Liberty, right? Uh-huh. Sure were. Fucking A. <laughs> I haven't caught them yet, but damn, I want to. Oh, they were cool. It's like Elvis turned reggae. <laughs> well, it was like a late um, birthday oh, present for me, so. Very cool. cool. Very cool. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're going to put you back on hold. Well, actually, I probably should go. I was, All right. Kind of head in the bed, but um, <laughs> I want to say hi to everybody. And You're going to bed without us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Will, we, will we be there in your I'm jealous. erotic <laughs> dreams? Well, I'll dream about all of you. you okay. Know. Okay, cool. Better keep that vibrator handy in the nightstand. All right. Start thinking about us. Right. Give us a buzz. <laughs> no, give yourself a buzz. I don't care. Shit. That works. Hi, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing fine. How are you? Good. 
I say that Rick is back and he's got a little cowboy outfit on. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell him. I, tell him I said he looks really cute. Who should I say is calling, dear? Uh, this is Patrick. I'm an old friend of his. Patrick. Yes. Oh, if he remembers me or not? Do you remember Pat? Oh, here comes Captain Cowboy just for you, sweetie. Hey, Patrick. I just got back from California. How was California, it? California, remember? Yeah. Why didn't you stay? Why did you come back here? Pardon? Why did you come back here? Why did I come back here? Because there was nothing up there in California for me. There's a bunch of cowboys like you down here in Austin, so that's the reason why I came back. <laughs> I'm only a cowboy yeah. tonight. <laughs> Do you know how to get a hold of me? No, I don't. Like that? Well, I'll go ahead and give you my pager number. I don't care. No! I don't have it. I, no, no, I no. won't let you do that, Okay, here. well, that's fine. Well, tell, tell Rick that he knows how to get a hold of me through Michael. Michael. Which Michael? Do you remember? Oh, okay. Tell you what. Tomorrow night, Rick's having a show over at Area 52, formerly known as 404. Come over and see him, girl. Six what o'clock. time? Six o'clock. Six o'clock tomorrow night. Oh, uh, I have to work till 10. Oh. oh, show up anyhow. We'll be sitting there getting bombed. We'll oh, still be there at 10. Downstairs, getting downstairs where? Anywhere you want, honey. Oh, just like the way I like it. <laughs> Good night. Good night, honey. Bye. We'll take him out on that big hard deck. Oh. <laughs> Poof. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 your girl, your mind is Wooden just fish. out <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller. Uh, yeah, I, I saw the topic of tattoos. I actually got a question for the ladies, and it's not vulgar or anything. Um, I was wondering, like, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo, and I was wondering, like, what would be better to attract women? Something cute, something sexy? I don't know. Mm, on your oh. through my ears. I mean, like a, like a. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a, a Native American Indian or, I don't know, or something like funny, like, you know, a women's breasts on my back or something. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, well, hey, thank you, uh, no. no. That'd be great, because then you could be making love to him and feeling titties at the same time. Boobies! <laughs> all you have to do is get some, in, get some implants in you, yeah. just great. Ooh. Or maybe like scales all over my body or circuits or something. <laughs> That'd that would look me. Hey, get, <laughs> get, 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 what, be get, cool. get round little knobs and I can always push your buttons. Put them on She knows just which buttons to push on me. Now I can sort oh. your fucking gut. You're frightening me. <laughs> 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 Boo! I didn't mean to scare him. Really? <laughs> push the button. First, right in the middle of his forehead, the big panic button. Yeah, right, there, right, right there on the back of his head. Ooh, so if he's sitting there normally reading the paper and you walk right by him, smack him, you know, like, ah! Oh, panic, 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 Hi, caller. Hello, caller. Oh. Heard the second click. <laughs> Hi, caller. Hey. What's up? Oh, well, I thought that was pretty rude that those guys actually called that girl a pile of poo-poo. That was pretty rude. You know what? I what? think wrinkles are beautiful. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like my wrinkles. I like reading my varicose veins. Let's me know where to fuck on that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dimples. 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 But not on my. Not on these cheeks. They're on a bottle. Hey, we get to flip you over and lay you on your front and play connect to that? No. <laughs> it's a puppy. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a pile of poop. So what do you fish? Poop. I don't know. Her rat head. Head. Rattling. Pinkies. <laughs> Pinkies. <laughs> Pinky um, and brain many, had how, pinkies. How many pinkies? Eleven. Eleven. Ooh, good litter. Anybody want any? We now have uh, eleven, 11 of them. Shut up. My wife's out in the next room. Sixteen. We had sixteen rats, four cats, <laughs> and seven people, and whatever else follows. Yeah, <laughs> See, we had yeah. one dog, five cats, uh, one rabbit, two hamsters, two gerbils. A rabbit and a rat. We have a zoo. And a partridge. And a partridge. And a beer. And a stone under the sink. Okay, whatever. And a beer. Hi, caller. Oh, yeah. Is the girl in the black jacket single? 
No. 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 Uh, cause, no. Cause, no. Love the the guy that came on earlier is mine. <laughs> He'd love to just get a quick feel on you, honey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <are> you? <laughs> what? Like not, you did not, you're not going to be like Southwestern Belt and my fingers do the walking? Damn. Rah. <laughs> it's a spider doing exercises. <laughs> you know what this is? Thing with a heart on. <laughs> no. Hi, caller. Hi, um, I know this might be too much to ask, but I can, can I get a look at the cowboy again? Why? I, he just looks he really nice. Out. He's going window shopping. <laughs> hi, caller. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Um, you, you can pass that joint. Uh, <laughs> well, anyhow. Um, <laughs> I can see you your TV. Stop bogarting that joint. Throw the tire and pass it. Are you still talking about that? <laughs> yeah, there we are. Yeah, We're talking about that's not fair. Why not? Um, I wanted to know, and girls, give me your opinion because y'all seem pretty fucking cool. I want to do like a lower back thing. Cool. Like a lower back, like go with the curved thing. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kind of thing. But I'm kind of afraid of like the lower back thing. I had my friend told me that he vomited when he got his lower back done because it hit a nerve that just like sent him too much adrenaline and he just puked all over him. <coughs> okay, number one, remember one thing that women tattoo easier than men. Cool. We can take that, pain better. Yeah. No shit. You know, menstrual pain can compare to nothing. We can go. <laughs> there we go. We shoot you. something the size of a and apple you. out the size. Well, wait a minute. I got that back. You, you pass it. Out. Out. Honey. Out the size of an apple. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Honey, <laughs> honey, you pass that cantaloupe, you can take anything. So. Exactly. But uh, what kind of work, what kind of things are you thinking about getting? I was almost kind of thinking tribal kind of hollow in the middle of the, you know, because tribal is so thick. You know, yeah. It's just deep looking. I come of deep on the outside and then kind of shade out the middle with Ooh, different yeah. colors, like cool, like turquoises and pinks and blues and purple. That'd be that cool. That sounds expensive. Okay, kind of like a swirl. <laughs> oh, that's okay, it's going to be there for the rest of my life. Oh, well, kind of like oh, a yeah. swirl of pink and blues and yellow uh, moving out into tribal stuff? Yeah. And cool, swirly tribal scorpion, maybe. Oh, wow. Sounds wow. good. I Sounds see good. It. That'd be cool. So, I was thinking there's a guy in town called Chris Trevino. Yeah. Yeah. Over perfection. Okay. I'm, uh, he's a perfection now? Yeah. He's only this well. Okay. Cool. Well, now I know where the hell he is. There you go. As far as I know, Chris is still working over perfection because he took over the shop when Dave Lum left. Okay. What's well, groovy? All right. Peace. Cool. Peace. Uh, remember, um, a good tattoo shop will have an autoclave in it. And that's what they use in, like, hospitals for sterilization and shit. Hi, caller! Yeah, I think the girl in the white's pretty, and I want to know if she has a boyfriend. No, she doesn't. <laughs> She's uh, single. <laughs> and, uh, she needs to get laid. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. that's what we're here for. <laughs> I'm glad you come to see me on that subject, honey, because I got just what you need. I work too much for this. <laughs> you work really hard for this? I work <laughs> oh, the work. Oh, oh, yeah, we work hard now. The sweating comes later. Thank you. There you go. Hat collar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you get for stuffing a feather pillow and letting it rip. Ooh, them, I know them zippers drag, but trying to fart them feathers is something else. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> hi, Connor. Yeah, hi. Yeah, um, y'all yeah, see the topic is tattoos? Yep. And um, I was just calling, uh, that's what I do, I do tattoos, and I, I work at Forbidden Fruit, and I was just wanted to tell you if anyone wants to come down and check out my portfolio, uh, I do really cool. Cool, how, how long have you been chatting? Uh, for about three years. Which Forbidden <coughs> Fruit? Yeah, uh, I've been tattooing for a while. Which Forbidden Fruit? Oh, uh, Forbidden Fruit on 6th Street. Oh, the new one. Yeah, I've the been new there. One. <coughs> so have you, were you there when uh, Ken Henton was in town? I'm sorry? Were you there when Ken Hinton was in town? 
Oh, wait, just a second. Let me turn off my TV real quick. Just a second. I'm kind of away from the TV because the... Okay, go ahead. Were you there when Ken Hinton was in town? Uh, no, I wasn't. Oh, you missed it. Huh. Ken, I've, I don't think I've heard of him. He's the guy that does the fangs. Oh, okay, okay. I knew you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. They were telling me about that. Yeah, I just came back from Houston. I was working in Houston for a while at Screaming Demon. And that's that's where he I is. I know where that is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's right. a trip. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to call and tell you that if you, you want to come down and check out my work. And also, um, tattoos is misspelled. Yeah, we know that. Okay. We no, want I'm... it to be politically incorrect. <laughs> okay. All right, well, thanks a lot. Okay. Well, see, there you go. I'll even let people say, hey, this is where I'm working. Come on down. Check it out. You know? Like I said, go out. Check on check on the person's work. Yeah. And like I said, you know. If you don't like the shop or you don't like your tatter, don't do it. Yeah. <coughs> Remember, it's guaranteed till 10 minutes after death that something that's going to be there for a fucking long time. You better make sure you want it before you get it. No crybabies. Unless, of course, they want to be changed in Spain. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> cool. Did you bring the vibrator? <laughs> you know, we we can check your temperature for you. That. <laughs> Hi, caller. Hey, Betty. What up? How you doing? Doing all right. Um, I was talking about uh, tattoos. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo, and uh, wondering about the forearm. forearm. Okay. Uh, number one, what are you gonna get? I'm not sure yet. I want something about two inches by two inches. Not too big, but just big enough to be seen. Okay, where on your forearm were you thinking about? On the uh, on the top, like if you were holding your, your palm down towards the ground, on the top right there. Right in other here? Way, other way, other way. If you hold, hold your palm uh, to uh, the ground. Right up here on the top. Okay. Where it's showing on the outside. Does that hurt very much? No, that's not too bad. Okay. I had a friend who got one there. Really? Yeah. Uh, that's not too bad. The thing is, though, remember, um, do you work outside a lot? Uh, no, in the summer, yeah, I go to the, well, I don't work outside, but I go to the, uh, to the lake a lot. Okay, remember, uh, you're you going to have to use a lot of sunscreen on it. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want it to burn because the color will fade. Uh, the UV rays destroy your ring. Huh. You need, like, SPF 20,000. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they tell you all that when you get the tattoo, right? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. What's, they what's best what is kind of like that zinc oxide that totally blocks out the sun. Alrighty. Hey, another thing uh, I've been thinking about uh, uh, the action, the shows down there that y'all do. Yeah. And, uh, could I get a guest spot? I mean, if I head down there now, could I? Be sure. Come on. We got a chair open. Okay, you're on uh, Northwestern, right? Right. Off of uh, east of 35, off 11. Right. Okay. Uh, what's the address there? 1143. Alrighty. Appreciate it. Peace. Cool. Hi, caller. Oh. Yeah, hey, you. The, the girl in the white. So she's like really itching to get fucked so bad that her place is turning green. No. No fungus that I know about. <laughs> no fungus among us. Well, I don't okay. know. The, the oh, by the way, um, if y'all missed the ACDC concert, you all missed a fucking good show. Because ACDC fucking rocked the house. Cool. Thank you very much. Of course, I get onto that show for free, too. Wow. When you know how to blow, you get to go to the show. Hey, caller! Hey, Betty. What? I was curious. Um, I wanted to get, like, a baby angel tattooed on me. And could you refer me to a good artist? Because the angels that I've seen, uh, they, they refer to it, like, in a different name. But I don't know what they really look like. And the ones, the ones I've seen aren't really cute. They look like midget men or something like that. Okay. Um, you been... Okay. Like, not a Cupid. It's more, um, I forgot. They, they I use another name each time I've gone there, so I've just... Yeah, I know. I know, paper I, know, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> my my best suggestion is this. Go to the public library, find a book on angels, get a picture that you like, Xerox it, and then go to an artist that you like and see if they can do it for you. Okay. Do you have any references or anything like that? Oh, like I said, Chris of Perfection, Eric over at River City, and the guys over at Tommy. All right, well, thanks. Cool. Hi, caller. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if those girls that are to the immediate left and right have tattoos. 
mean, I do. I have three. Well, oh, hey, show it. Let well, me see. Let me see. I can show you one. My ankle right there. <coughs> that's that's too, all right. You don't got none yet? Not yet. I'm thinking okay. about it. I still don't know what chicken. I want. No, I still no, don't know what I want, and I don't have the money. Of, it's oh, yeah. a matter of opinion. You know that. <laughs> <coughs> What's funny? Hi, caller. Uh, yeah, can I eat y'all bloody pussy herbies? Bloody pussy herbies? He has what? You mean I have small Volkswagens covered in blood coming out of my snatch? Yeah. <laughs> Is that like Herbie goes to vagina? <laughs> Are the doors open? Is it top down? <laughs> well, I'll pop the hood. Is it popping a wheelie to scrape the top? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Gimp, when do you want it? Oh, fuck me up. Sorry, I can't see it. Whenever she's ready. Oh, uh, you Ooh. let me know when you're ready. Is that God? If, if you want it, I'll let you take it right now. That's up to you. <laughs> whenever the queen says he wants it. Okay. Well, just tell her whenever she's ready. Get her little cowbell butt on in here. That color. Hi, I was just wondering, if I was to get a tattoo of Jesus Christ on my ass, would that be sacrilegious? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Even if I sat down a lot? Then you'd be closer to God. <laughs> Got me on that one. And then you'd say, bless me, Father, for I have sin. Safety. So, like, if you do, like, let one of those really bad parts. Like, whatever, whatever, girl. But... Ah. Of course, of course, then, if you let a fart, wouldn't that be the eternal flame of God? <laughs> oh, there you go. We got one more caller, and then we'll get you, get you going. <laughs> <coughs> no, that'd be, that'd be the Virgin Mary. <laughs> Hi, caller. Betty. Yes? I was thinking about putting a tattoo on the bottom of one of my feet. Ow. Would he walk around like this? Yeah. <laughs> what would it say? Left foot, right foot? Yeah, no, not quite. But okay. uh, Cool. <laughs> how would that, like, run because of the, all the sweat that comes out? Or No, no. Oh. You wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, Thing is, though, you'd probably be in pain for about a week and a half because you probably wouldn't feel it at first. You wouldn't be able to walk. But. The nerve endings on your feet by the time you got done would be extremely raw and hurting real fucking bad. Okay. But you can but, going down, but it can be done. Oh yeah. I was thinking about going down to Mexico and getting some medicine before I do it. You get what? Getting some medicine before I go to uh what what down. kind of medicine are you talking about? Because well, you something numb the pain for uh, don't. don't 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 because it'll thin your blood and you'll bleed a lot. <clears throat> really? Oh uh, also also uh, say, say you want to shoot some Novocaine or something in the area. Uh huh. The skin acts totally different than when you're straight up, and it would fuck the tattoo all the shit. So it'd be worth just, it just, just, just go in straight up. Take a big stick and stick it in your teeth. There you go. Oh, Grab, yes. bring, bring your chew bone. Pop it in your jaws and let them go at it. Are there certain areas of the feet that are more? Of the pain than others are not that I know of. Not that you know of. I I really wouldn't know. Would the um like the arch of your feet would they be more receptive towards? <coughs> well, like, 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 no? like I said, this this is unknown. This is unknown. Do you know of anyone that has had it done? No, I haven't. I've seen it once. Okay then. Since All right. More professionals are just checking. But yeah, no um. Make sure you want to stay off your feet for at least a week because your feet are going to be so tender. It yeah. can be done. It's going to hurt like a motherfucker, but it might be really cool. I wouldn't do it. You never know. Like I said, different strokes for different folks. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there's this guy who's got his entire tongue blue, bright neon blue, just, and it's a bright fucking blue. That would yeah. hurt. No. <laughs> the chow, yeah, yeah, the, the chow look. Mm -hmm. Or you can get like shit tattooed on your lower lip. So when you curl it out, it says a word and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fun. <laughs> well, <coughs> I got this uh, big old 
Okie dokie, hunker, yeehaw, boy. Wants to swagger on over here and take over all this fun shit. <laughs> so we're going to let him do it. Uh, you want to leave your same crowd and just change out me and you or what? Yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> he wants them. They got glory, too. Guts? They got the guts and the glory holes. Mine. <clears throat> Anyhow, Mine. <laughs> if you know somebody with AIDS, give them a hug. Best medicine in the world. If you're in a, in a relationship where your old man's beating on you, number one, it's not your fault. Number two, you ain't got to take it. You can look in the blue pages. There are lots of places in this town to help you out. To the people at First Texas Honda, keep hanging in there, brothers. We're with you. Because we know that certain religious organizations <coughs> that are now turning to Nazi tactics A.K.A. writing to people and threatening to uh, protest them. Um, if they have a newsletter, I strongly suggest to the people who read the Triangle to find a newsletter from that other organization and protest right back. Just to let these people out there know that there are businesses out there supporting Nazi tactics. There it is. It's called Brown Shirt Tactics. Fuck y'all. Straight up, straight on. Fuck you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Afton.